Hi everybody, Jackie here with Morgan from Omega One. How are you doing today? Great, how are you? Doing good. So today we're gonna be talking about an important subject, thread galling. This is something that we wanna make sure people understand that they know about so that they get the life out of their products. Yeah, thread galling is something that's not uncommon in um, fittings and um, I've had a lot of people ask me over the years, you know, don't doesn't stainless gall? Well, okay. Um, Stainless fittings can gall, um, and what galling is, if you're not sure, is damage to uh, threads. Uh, it's most common with taper threads. Um, what you'll see is uh, you'll see the threads get torn up and get rough. There'll be bits of metal, or in some cases, if something's really bad, you can see an entire you know course of thread just completely removed from the fitting, um, and that will cause the fitting to not properly seal, um, and then you're going to see leaks. Um, so it's predominantly, as like I said, with NPT or the taper threads. Um, if anything is a straight thread fitting, it, as long as it's properly installed, it isn't going to gall or tear itself up. Galling is something that's uh, predominant in taper threads, which would be our Omega Pipe Series fitting or any of the Omega Flare, Omega Bite, or Omega Seal fittings that have an NPT as their adapting connection. Um, the flareless fitting series, the Omega Bite, has a gray uh, molly coat on the nut and that's designed actually to lubricate the threads to help and encourage serviceability and prevent thread galling. With the pipe thread fittings, um, an Omega One manufactures the NPTF standard. Um, you will see that the NPTF standard does naturally gall as part of its design. That's part of how it forms its seal. So lubrication is advisable. Some kind of a PTFE tape or um, pipe dope is what it's you know commonly used. There's always a good idea. It's going to extend the use of the uh, fitting and it's going to ensure durability. Um, as with with any type of fitting style, um, not over torquing it or you know handling the threads with care, following yeah. the specifications in J514 and talk about how to handle the fittings is important. Um, when you do lubricate fittings, if you have any threads that you're lubricating, um, parallel threads can, per J514, you can use like a lightweight oil to lubricate them. It's always important that you lubricate uh, the fitting with an oil that's compatible with fluid in the mm. system and or an oil that will not damage an o-ring if there's an o-ring involved in that so just a little bit of lubrication and proper care can prevent thread going so thread going you know to avoid this it's really about getting the durability out of your product avoiding leakage and you know making sure that you're servicing this product the right way and, and installing it the right way so you know to make sure that these oil any oils they're using to lubricate are compatible or for any questions anybody has about servicing your fittings to make sure that you avoid Avoid thread going. You guys need to call Omega One. They've got a great staff who is highly knowledgeable about these products, and you can reach them at eight hundred. You can reach them at 800-333-2636 or visit them online at omega1.com. Fill out a form for any questions you have. The website is also equipped with product catalogs to show you the range of products they have. And you may find some information there that will help you. But really, if you get in touch with their staff, they're going to send you down the right path, get the right product for your application, and answer any questions you have on installing that. Thank you so much for talking to us about thread galling and this important subject today. Thank you, Jake.